Uh, Marsh Ad. So, this is the Bakelite Museum, the world's greatest collection of vintage plastics. Although its premises is an old, broken down mill, but hey. Has a shed just on the outside with some various items, including an incredibly creepy doll just here. Yeah. Has more various objects. And more various objects, and more various objects, and some blurred pictures. So we have more blurred pictures of various objects. Here is an explanation of what Bakelite is. You can pause the video and read it if you really want to. More objects. And loads of Snoopies, and loads of those really creepy toy things that are just weird, but also classical for some weird reason. And doll's house furniture. And a weird face thing that's... Yeah, lots of creepy things made in plastic, because moulding is just slightly off reality, but close enough for it to be perceived as a threat, subconsciously, or something. Anyway, this is what an early Scalectrix type thing, and this is a typewriter on top of a radio. This is a radio with a picture of the world on it, which is pretty cool. This is a space helmet CRT screen. Kind of the cool thing you'd have in your bedroom in the 60s. Um, and more Dolls House stuff. And lots and lots of radios. Because obviously they were a big thing back then. A coil. Really nice copper coil. Something quite nice about metal coils. I don't know what it is, but hey. And there is more stuff. And this Lego type thing. It isn't really Lego. It's like rods that go up through all the different things. And then you put the things on top of the rods because the things have got holes in them. Um... Which is what my grandmother's always told me about that she played with as a child, but I've never seen it before. I always wondered what it was like, but here it is, so that's cool. First time seeing this specific product. And here's some hairdressing thingies, which are kind of amusing for no reason. I don't know, the idea of putting this kind of thing on your head to have your hair done is somewhat humorous. And the Tesco flower people things. And glasses. And hoovers. And teeth. For some reason, but hey. And the molecular model set, which I actually did try to sort out to the best of my ability, but the little metal rod things didn't come out very easily, so they mostly stayed stuck together. But I did sort it out to the best, <laughs> best I could, just because I couldn't stop myself from doing that. And a chess and draft set, not that it would be really fun playing chess with this kind of set. You do need 3D pieces, uh, it'd be pretty boring and difficult. But it's definitely a nice concept and an early use of plastic. And an enterprise telephone, which if I still use a landline, would definitely want. Look for an eBay, but we don't use landlines very often. So, actually I need a picture of that on my phone case. And the famed 1415 puzzle. Well, I say I say famed, it definitely is in the mathematical community here yeah, for the simple fact that it's actually not possible and it's very simple to prove mathematically that it's not possible and it's a very interesting problem. I'll probably find a video about that and put a link to that in the description. And a robot thing. And toasters and yeah, this this is what the product's called. It's called Bako. And as you can see there's like little holes here. Pretty like these little rod things here. So you get the basic idea of how it works. And some green frogs, and there's a little M&M, &M. I think there's an M&M &M there, and various toys. And this is an announcement about the future of it, it says use social media to publicise it, which is exactly what I'm doing right now, which is very meta, but hey. Um, like it said, exposed insects, bats, dirt and dust, the exhibits are deteriorating and being damaged in a number of ways. So if you are a millionaire, please, because I know I've got loads of subscribers who are millionaires, please just, you know, get this thing sorted out, or at least help to find some premises somewhere in Somerset. This, this is the guy who does it, this is because I forget what his name was, and his name was, and his name's Pecook. And he's a slightly crazy old man, as you would have to be, because he's obsessively collected all this stuff. Like, one person has collected all this stuff over his life, and it's quite an impressive collection. Most of the people I spoke about it who actually live nearby seem to think it was somewhat of a waste of time, but considering how important plastic is these days, and this is kind of decades of our history, decades of important parts of our history, I just think it would be uh, very much a shame if this had to end, so I think it would be great if this could be helped in some way, if anybody's got any idea how to do this, you know. I'll put his email in the description, which you could see at some point in the video. And again, it'd just be a shame if this had to go to waste. There's so many nice things in it. So, there we are.